Hello everyone, I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I am here to do a general love reading. Uh, my times are, my times, my readings are timeless. I can't talk already so I feel like there's definitely either the lack there of communication or uh, miscommunication. But I almost feel like the miscommunication is forced, like to throw you off course, to it's a form of manipulation is what I'm feeling because I don't feel the best energy here but this is a collective reading so it's for all signs and over on patreon I'm going to extend this and I'm gonna dive a little deeper into each individual sign just to get back into the swing of things I know that I still have a few signs to do excuse me that I didn't get done in May um, so I'm going to continue forward with them, obviously, you know, just in June's time frame instead and get those out of the way and then go into something else, like a different spread and whatnot. But I've had a lot of personal readings, um, so if you're interested, hit me up. My email is in the box below. I'll gladly read for you and add you to the books as well. I've been working on my merchandise. I post it on the community tab and it's also on my Facebook and Patreon. Um, so check that out. Support your girl. Thank you so much. Um, keep in mind these are general readings. They will not apply to every single one of you. I wish I could do that, but I can't. If you'd like me to pick up on your personal energy, please email me. My email is in the box below. I'll gladly give you all the information you need on personal. It's on the community tab as well as my website. And don't forget to check me out on Patreon where these will be extended like I previously said. So yes, and it's any denomination. You can start off at with ten dollars lower it increase it whatever stay for a moment or stay for a while either way it makes me smile i love you guys so let's kind of see what the general energy is or the main energy and love for um the collective because as you know we have multiple signs in our charts so um i tend to see a pattern when i'm doing you know like say i'm doing a scorpio reading and then i do libra and then i do whatever else follows I just heard Virgo, um, and a lot of those storylines can be similar in nature, at least some aspects of them, because I could be, you know, picking up on the same information. Um, and a lot of times we are on very similar paths, just at different times. It's kind of crazy how it works. We're all connected in, in some way, shape, or form. So anyways, this one is basically overall energy, um, this person's intentions, so your love interest's intentions, um, but you can take it as if it's from your perspective or theirs. Um, it depends on where you fit in this situation and then their feelings and then um, what you can expect within about a month's time, like what's to come, what like why the fuck is this even happening in the first place? Post warning, I use bad language. If you don't like it, there's the door. See you later. Bye. I do hope you stay though. So anyways, let's just dive into this. I don't have a plan, so we're just going to roll with it. We have, this is from my Oracle deck, Willow's Wisdom Oracle. It is for sale. Email me for information. Someone has their eyes on you. Be prepared for a surprise visit or a phone call or message. And that came out with, because I only wanted one card, but this one flew out with it, so I took it. Be weary of drunk texts. So I feel like the main energy for this particular situation that I'm picking up on is that you've been on somebody's mind. I feel like this is a past person for most of you. Some of you, it just might be someone that you've known of or you just know them kind of thing. Um... I feel like this is unexpected. This is somebody that you would least expect to send you a message, um, even be interested in you at all or anymore. I almost feel like if this is an ex or a past person, um, you had a rough falling out with this person. And like the ending was brutal. It was not anything that you ever want to repeat. And I almost feel like for whoever I'm talking to, you have vowed to never talk to this person again, never to give them another chance because you feel like they're a piece of shit basically um, for what they did to you. And you're probably not wrong because I have, I don't know, I feel that it's very intrusive energy. Like my way or the highway like this person tends to get what they want because they're very persistent um but with be wary of drunk text i feel like the initial conversation 
like this person acts like they're all macho big and bad male female whatever it doesn't matter but they're kind of a coward and I feel like they basically get liquid courage so when they're drinking that's when this person would like be like hey baby what's up a long time no talk don't you want to see me I miss our good times blah blah or you know whatever um so I kind of feel like that would be the initial conversation and you might not even realize that this person is intoxicated when they're talking to you so I kind of feel that hot and cold um they're not very consistent I'll just put it that way there's definitely fuck boy fuck girl energy here so I feel like we have a player on our hands um, and this is somebody that you probably do not want to talk to some of you could have been waiting for this person but I just really don't feel it I feel for the main message this is not somebody it's almost like you you have your eyes set you la la la, you have your heart set on somebody else like you're looking in a totally different direction and then in comes this wanker basically and that was clarified with passion go figure insane chemistry like each other equally having fun i feel the having fun and when this card came out with the drunk text card this is the player energy to me it's like okay i have a bad for you um I want to have sex basically is what I feel I feel like that something's going wrong in this person's life like they're not getting the attention that they that they used to get from their current partner because I almost feel like this person would be trying to pull you into a like third-party situation make you the the other woman or the other man um, because they're bored, they're not, you know, they don't feel like a top priority to whoever they're with. And if they're actually not with anybody else, I just feel like they're running out of options. So they're not a hot commodity anymore. So it's almost like they're backtracking, like who had it bad for me? Who will always talk to me kind of thing. So I kind of feel like that's what this person's doing. Um, then we have hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand and gambling. This is being strategic to me. So I feel like they have, there's a motive behind their actions. Like, I mean, normally we don't do anything without a motive, but I, I kind of feel a little bit of a malicious motive here. Um, they're definitely not coming back for anything long term or for anything that will benefit you. Um, this person's very selfish is what I feel and they're kind of butthurt because They're not the talk of the town right now. People aren't interested in them for whatever reason So they are backtracking <sighs> Wonderful, don't you love it when these people you think they're gone and then poof they show back up Anywho, so let's see here um, their intentions Free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. For some of them, their intentions, um, I almost feel like they're going to tell you that their intention is to leave whoever they're with, that they want to free themselves from their current situation because they're either bored, they're not getting the proper amount of attention that they require, um, or just shit's not going well for them. So it's like, oh, things are going well for you, or they appear to be going well for you. Can I come in? Like, so I kind of feel like they want to free themselves from their current situation to start something new with you. But I also feel that it won't last <coughs> if you'll even take this person back to begin with. Because I kind of feel like this is, <laughs> I don't know, you view them as like the Antichrist or something. You're like, no, get out of here. Um, so I feel like you want to free yourself from this situation completely. And you thought you had, but it's like rearing its ugly head is what I feel. Um, but their intentions are to not stick around. Um, and like I said, if they're partnered, I feel like they'll tell you they want to get away from whoever they're with. But that's just a tactic of theirs. Um, I don't feel like they're really going anywhere. Because this person likes to have their cake and eat it too. Alright, so we have the Five of Swords Reverse. This is basically being on the losing end. So they lost out on something. Like I said, shit's not going right for this person. I feel like they feel like they lost the upper hand. So this person could have had um, you under their thumb. They could have had a sense of authority over you, especially when you were dating them 
or just whatever the dynamic, the relationship was between the two of you, even if it wasn't romantically speaking, I feel like this person is extremely dominant or they act that way. Um, okay, well, cards want to talk, don't they? Knave of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, they're getting rejected because this in the upright, it's normally a small offer. It could be a friendship, you know, somebody loaning you money or gifting you something small. Um, but in this deck, it kind of feels forced and reversed. This is like not, it's either not accepting this new opportunity, this new offer, um, or it's a sense of rejection. And I feel like with this losing energy, they're feeling rejected by their current person because they're not getting the attention that they feel they deserve. Um, so they are going to find somebody who used to give them the attention, um, that they want and I feel like you would have doted on this person when you were with them you would have given them that attention and then we have the ace of swords this wanted to come out sideways so it didn't it wasn't sure if it wanted to be reversed or not to me this card's all about trust honest communication so with it coming out like this I kind of feel like there's half truths here so um I feel like if they tell you that things aren't going well for them, that is the truth. But if they say that they're freeing themselves from the situation or they already have, that is not the truth. Um, so this person is definitely not very trustworthy. So don't hang off from every word that they say. Yeah, and then we have the fool. This taking a risk, a leap of faith to have a new beginning. I almost feel like the grass was not greener. Yeah, because they're bored in their current situation. So I feel like... This is somebody This is somebody who's extremely persistent for one. They tend to get what they want. I keep looking at the snake. I don't know, I don't like that energy. I feel like this person wouldn't go away easy. They don't take no for an answer. Um If you're currently partnered with somebody, don't don't let this person interfere with your relationship. Don't leave your person for this ex-person or whoever the hell they are to you because there's something fishy here. Like I said, you're not getting the whole truth. It's almost like this person is extremely arrogant. They need that confidence boost by getting attention by somebody like making them feel like they're on top of the world because they don't feel that way on their own and I feel like you used to do that and that's why they're here can I get more on free yourself for their intention please I see like a kink factor here as well so this person is they definitely explore in the bedroom I'll put it that way so they're into freaky things um and it's varying degrees because i don't feel like this is like crazy kink like bondage and shit like that but i feel like they could go there and some of them have um it's almost like they get bored easy so you constantly have to do something new to keep things fresh and like spice shit up with this person and i feel like they're kind of with a plain jane whether it's a male or a female and whoever they're with they're not very kinky they're not very exciting they're not very fun they don't come up with fresh new things to do it's very uh robotic and they're they get bored easily and they're very bored of their partner which is why they're turning back to you because you probably spiced up their life in some way shape or form oh goodness i just heard panties so i this person might have a panty fetish like like to have sex with you when um when you're still wearing your underwear or they smell them, something like that. I don't know. You know, to each your own. That's not as weird as the foot thing. Yeah, they definitely have a fetish. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block restraint. I feel like this person's been trying to hold themselves back from you for a while. But they get, because they're so, um, I was going to say, I wasn't going to say possessive, but controlling possessive, it's all in there. Um, because they're so persistent is what I was going to say, that they don't take no for an answer. That turns into a bit of obsession for this person. Like when they, uh, when they set their, their eyes on something or it's like, 
they'll think of you as a goal basically and once that goal has been set they will do anything and everything to achieve it to get it to attain it whatever um so i kind of feel like you're dealing with somebody who's kind of shady and very clingy and extremely pushy and they're gonna come to you because we have healing heart and the butterfly they're gonna come to you and say that they want to change the dynamic between the two of you that they've been lost without you that they've really missed you um, that things have not been the same since the two of you split up even if it looked like they were having a good time or they were better off without you it was all for show it's that's not how they truly feel they can't they can't believe they ever let you go you're the one that got away like you know shit that people say I'm heartbroken without you I want to heal this I want to grow and expand with you um, and that is partially true, but I feel like this person is non-committal. Like, even if they have the idea in their head that, oh, this would be, uh, we'd be great together, we could make things work, whatever, it, they, it never lasts. Like, they can, I guess they can be committed for like six months to a year, and then after that, things start getting boring. Like I said, they get bored easy, so this person is not the type to just settle down, um, you definitely would want them to back up their words with action just to know for sure if they're full of shit or not basically um yeah I don't know I don't get a good vibe from them because I, I feel like they're gonna tell you what they think you want to hear so this isn't somebody that we've been hoping wishing and praying for just gonna say um, their feelings. We have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. So there are some feelings here, but I almost feel like that guarded, like a sense of being guarded, where even if I feel that I'm in love with someone, or even if I feel a strong connection, or even if I think that we're soulmates or whatever, um, I might say it, but I'm not going to get too invested, because that's when you get hurt. So this is like kind of keeping the relationship I don't want to say platonic but surface level so it's like this person is not very deep they might pretend like they're going deep emotionally but they're really not um, because this person has attachment issues <clears throat> can I get more on calling in your soulmate please we have the eight of swords reverse this is releasing that um, anxiety stress overthinking this is almost like not even thinking things through is what I'm getting it's more like just acting like oh you're my soulmate I'm just gonna act on it kind of thing um, and that might be coming from your side like if you truly believe that this person no matter what they did to you no matter what the situation is if you believe that they're meant for you you know it might be a relief when they show up but I almost feel like <sighs> you you do calm this person down in a sense there's something there um like you're different the their energy shifts and evolves when they're around you but when they get around it's almost like a chameleon so they act like whoever they're around so i almost feel like if you dated this person, your relationship would have been when it was just the two of you, like at home or something or on a date, they would have like kind of taken on some of your qualities and said that they had a lot of the same interests. You know, they would have been like, you're my soulmate, my one and only like talked really sweet. They were very, you know, emotionally involved with you. But then when they were around their friends, they would act like their friends. This person likes to be like whoever they're around to fit in. And I feel like this person doesn't have the best friends, I'm just going to say. Um, so I feel like that creates a lot of problems, too. Because they contradict what they say and what they do a lot. Because they're not even being true to themselves. Because I feel like this person doesn't really know who they are or what they even want. They just tell people what they want to hear and go off from what other people, you know, what they want and what they need. And then they take it on as their own. So they don't really understand why they're doing half of what they're doing. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that's what I feel. This person's very confused. They definitely do not think things through. Hold on, I just heard shuffle. 
Can we get more on this? Why did the Eight of Swords come out reversed, please? We have the Ace of Cups reversed with the Two of Wands reversed and the Wheel reversed. Ooh, there's plenty of blockages going on. And the King of Cups, which is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, in the upright, this is holding back your emotions. It's not, it's not wearing your emotions on your sleeve, basically. So this is kind of hiding your true feelings. I, I just heard ulterior motive. I feel like the ulterior motive is attention for them to feel good. It's sexual gratification. It's that bonded shit, the kink factor. Um, so I feel like there really isn't love here. This person will tell you that you're the one, that they've missed you and all the shit that I've said. I almost feel like I'm sorry that we didn't move this forward. I'm sorry that I chose wrong. I'm not in love with him or her. I'm in love with you. And it could just like easier. It will comfort you in a way like this person's very charismatic. They're very good with words, but they don't have the emotion behind it. The feeling behind it. They don't mean it. Um, so this is like, they might tell you that you two were, that they were divinely guided back to you, that this, you know, you're the one you guys are meant to be, blah, 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 whatever. Um, but it's not going to move forward. It's like the universe wants to create blockages between the two of you because they are full of shit. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, the runner. Exactly. That's exactly what I said. It's like, I'm sorry I ran away from you. I'm, you know, I miss you. I want to come back, but they're going to do the same bullshit all over again. Um, cause we have two cards speaking about codependent relationship. This person is like, they have a hard time being single. I feel like they're really shitty with money. Um, it's like they come in and they get whatever they need, whatever they're lacking from this person, that person, whatever. And I feel like, you know, they have duped you a time or two in the past, but for who I'm talking to, I really feel like you've learned this lesson and I don't feel like you're going to fall for it this time. And... I almost feel like that's what's going to keep this put this person around longer because the more you deny them, because like I said, this person doesn't accept no for an answer. So they will continue to push and push and push. And I feel like it's going to keep them around even longer because they're going to want to basically win. <laughs> They want to cross the finish line because that's what they're in love with is the chase is um, they always want what they can't have. And I feel like you're at that point where you're setting those healthy boundaries and not only the universe is doing this, you're doing it and you're like, no, we're not moving this forward. And they, this person isn't going to like that. I'm just going to say, but Hey, do you? And if you don't feel right being with this person, then they can want all they want. You know, it's like want in one hand, shit in the other. See which one piles up faster. Pretty sure the shit's going to win. <laughs> Engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. That's what this person's going to say. Like, you know, you're the one for me. I should have stayed. I never should have left. Um, and this is what I want with you now. And I know this now, but you know, too little too late is what I'm feeling. And rightfully so, because this person is definitely just talking out their ass. hundred percent. I mean, for some of you, no, I don't even feel that. I was going to say for some of you, I feel like maybe with, with some work, like if you guys can really work together and heal this situation, um, if it's really what you want, it could move forward, but I don't see it moving forward at all because I just don't feel like the feelings are matched. I feel like if you did have love for this person at one point, you've lost that love and feeling. Um, like you don't even think about this person much anymore because I feel like this is not somebody you're manifesting into your life. This is, you know, you have good things going on for you and you're moving forward. And now that you've kind of cut that energetic cord, it's pulling them back around. Um, for some of you, this person was in jail. They were incarcerated and they're getting out. 
and you're their first stop so that they can, you know, get a piece of ass and, you know, possibly get back on their feet financially and whatever. It's like you're very helpful and they know this. Um, this is a con artist. I've had this energy before. So I feel like this person is rearing their ugly head and it's coming up here this month. Some of you, this person has already texted you, messaged you or whatever. Girl with a snake. What the fuck did I say? Empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enabled boundaries. You're setting those boundaries. This person is trying to charm the pants off of you. That's all they want. They just, you have something that will benefit their life, their situation, whatever. And they're just there for that. That's it. Yeah, we definitely have narcissistic tendencies here. We have the golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. And that's exactly what this person's going to do. The whole love bombing bullshit. It's a, it's a strategic plan. We have the drunk text shit here. Um, even if they're not drunk, I just feel like it's lies. It's just to try to charm their way into your pants, into your life, and to get what they want. So basically what you can expect within the month... We have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to receive, to give and receive the highest energy of all. But this came out with deception. So I almost feel like this person is going to charm you into thinking that it is safe for you to fall for them again. That it is safe for you to, to you know, move forward together to have this wonderful commitment. Um, but it's a bunch of bullshit. This person wears many faces, I feel like. <sighs> Like I said, they're a chameleon. They fit in with whoever they're around. Um, this is the type of person that would lead you to believe that you two are soulmates, that you two are meant for each other, and that they would do anything for your love, for you. But they also, in turn, convince you to do shit for them and potentially try to convince you to break the law on their behalf. Like... You know, baby, go steal that for me because um, they probably won't even say steal. Like, go take that because it's mine. So-and-so took it from me. And then you go get whatever this thing is. We'll say it's uh, money. And you'll go take that person's money. And it was never your boyfriend or girlfriend or this person's money to begin with. It, they basically talked you into stealing shit for them. It's that type of person. Can I get more? I feel like this is basically saying it is safe for you to love yourself. Continue on the path that you're on. Don't fall for this person's bullshit again. Can I get more, please? It is safe for you to love. We'll see exactly, you know, like which signs pop up with this energy. But this is the overall energy. And like I said on Patreon, we I'll dive into all 12 zodiac signs um, a little deeper. And kind of see where y'all are at. And then go from there and finish up the straggle reads. The stragglers. Finish that. Get some personals done. I got a busy afternoon ahead of me. <laughs> well, it took like a week off because of Memorial Day. And spend time with family. Six of Swords reversed. This is not moving on. Some of... Uh, some of you haven't 100% like emotionally moved on from this person and they're using that to their advantage. But I feel like the majority of you in this situation, you have moved on and this is you like, no, I'm not moving forward with you. I'm just going to kind of stay put, you know? So if you have your eyes set on somebody new, if you're dating somebody new, if you're in a new relationship or hell, even if it isn't new and this person's trying to interfere with that, you're like, hell no. I ain't moving forward with you. Um, I also feel like this is saying this person is just going to create a bunch of drama and they're not going to go anywhere. They're going to stay put until they get what they want. They're going to try every tactic possible to convince you that they are the one for you, that this is meant to be. Um, for those of you that live at a distance from this person, I feel like they would, you would need to pick this person up or go to them because I don't, I don't even feel like they either don't have their license or they don't have a car. 
this person is extremely needy. I'm just going to say like, they don't have their shit together. Um, we have the eight of pentacles reversed. <laughs> they might not even have a fucking job. Um, that could be why they don't have a car because they don't have a job. They can't pay for it. Regard and if they were in jail, I could understand why they don't have those things, but they're going to try to get them from you. I just, I feel like this is like not moving forward with this person and not working with them because of what has happened in the past. Like, you know what to expect with them. And then we have the Ace of Wands. Some of you just might, you know, have a good time, roll around in the sack with them and, and call it quits kind of thing. But I feel like if you do that, you know that it's, you know what you're doing. So basically it's like, okay, I'm just gonna have sex and move forward. Like this is nothing. This is meaningless kind of thing. But I don't feel like most of you are going to even entertain that. You're just not going to. I feel like this moving forward, wanting this new passionate beginning is a fucking bullshit. Like I want to resurrect this. I miss you. It's crap. So that's what you can expect. Is this person just trying to con you, basically? Can I get more on this Ace of Wands and Deception? They're going to leave you crying if you let them in. And I almost feel like this will be worse than the last time. <clears throat> so whatever experience you've had with this person, I feel like you can expect um, more difficulties than last time. Can I get more on this Ace of Wands, please, with Deception? I'm curious to see what's going on with the individual signs. This is fucking nuts, man. I hope you're curious, too, and join me over on Patreon. Or hit me up for a personal, whether this resonated or not. But don't worry, your individual sign readings are coming up regardless for June. I didn't forget about y'all. And I ordered myself some of my merch of the original um, design that I did because now I have colors and stuff. I can't wait. Um, I can't wait for it to come in the mail. I'm so excited. Anywho, we have the Two of Cups. With the Eight of Wands reversed, there's blockages here. It's no forward movement. Yeah, because it's bullshit. Like I said, this person's going to tell you you're the one for me. I'll, you know, feed you all that crap to make you believe that you've been missing out this whole time. And, you know, maybe you were wrong about them or they've grown, they've changed, blah, 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 whatever. No, this person has not. The only effort they put in is to con you so they can get a free ride and get what they want. Um, and sex because there's definitely a lot of passion here and I feel like they run off from that because they know that you're sexually attracted to them um, obviously you can't always just turn that off but sometimes when you see somebody's true colors and you see how ugly their soul is you're like uh, it turns you off sexually but um, I feel like this person's very good looking they're just and they know it you know it's one of those types of people which is a turn off all in itself if you ask me, I feel like this person does their research. What did I say? Um, does their research like on you to figure out what your interests are? What I mean, this person is not an idiot. They're they're very intelligent, but in a very sneaky con artist type way. Um, now we have the golden mirror again and wanted to come out again. Self-absorbed, exactly. Narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. That's exactly what is going on here. They're gonna lead you to believe that they're the, that you, that they are your happily ever after. Exactly. That they're the key to your heart or whatever. There's all the love. You know, let's heal this. I'm so sorry for the past. I told you they're not gonna give up easy. Now we have the chaser. That's exactly what this is. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't feel like this person is abusive, like physically. 
they're just, they're very self-absorbed. It's all about them. They don't put in the work. They don't care about your feelings. Um, that's the type of person they are. They're just, they're not good for you, whoever the hell this is. And I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you know this. I just saw seduction. Yep. Basically, they're going to tell you they love you. Act like they're your friends. I feel like this person has fucked your friends before. I'm just going to say. And then we have seduction and boat. Karmic relationship and soulmates back to back and heartbroken. Yeah. They're going to lead you to believe that you two are meant to be. And then they're just going to stomp on your heart is what they're going to do. They're coming in to get something from you. To gain something. Um, and I feel like it's most of it has to do with getting like a confidence boost. Um, because something is just boring or not going right in their current situation. They're not feeling um, good at the moment, like, because this person does not love themselves. Um, they're very into themselves. They think they're hot shit, but they don't truly love them. They don't have respect for themselves or other people. Because if you don't truly love yourself, then how are you supposed to, you know, love other people? You don't. Um, this person's a user, and they're coming back because you have something they want. Um, and it could be as simple as a confidence boost, like I said. But I feel like for some of you, you either came into money or your business is doing well. Maybe you changed career paths. But I feel like there's something pretty significant that has changed in your situation since you've been with this person. And they're seeing your success and they want part of it. So just be cautious of that, especially if you do have money. Um, if you, you know if you've been putting money away in your savings and to buy a house, to do whatever for your own life, I feel like this person would totally deplete that savings. Be like, t they're the type of person to talk you into spending all your money because they want to go on a vacation or they want this. And this person can easily convince you that you want it. Like that it wasn't even them. That's how good this person is at conning people. That's what I feel with that. Um, hold on. Let's see. I'm going to pull a little advice card. And then I'm going to continue this over on Patreon. Can I please get some advice for whoever is in this situation with this pretty shady mofo coming back around? Oh my god, I just got wicked heartburn all of a sudden. That's weird because I didn't have it a minute ago. Advice for the... Okay. The Hawk Prince. Spirit communication. Pay attention. Number 11. Reverse. So pay attention to the signs. Um, it's almost like... Pay attention to what somebody is not saying. So everything in between the verbal diarrhea. Because this type of person, like con artist type people, they're very charming. Um, they have a way with words and how they say things. But if you pay attention to the in-betweens, like what they're not saying, their body language, um, certain things they're hinting at, you're going to see the red flags. They try to hide it, but, you know, you can't hide it all the time. Challenger. The Hawk Prince challenges you to pay attention and listen to the warnings being sent your way. Warning, warning, warning. Um, are you pushing forward in spite of others, ca uh, in, in spite of others cautionings about the direction you're headed? Are you refusing to listen to your own inner voice? Red flags are waving in the breeze and you're being challenged to heed their message. When the Hawk Prince descends as your challenger, it's an indication that something isn't quite right. Don't worry though. He always arrives just in time for you to let go of your old ideas and begin again. Spirit only wants the best for you. So yes, pay attention to the red flags seriously because I I felt that energy initially before anything even came out. And I feel like with free yourself here, it's not only the message that I said. It's necessary for you to free yourself 
from this person, from this situation, because I feel like you've already done that. And when they come back around, they're going to get you all up in your feels and confuse the fuck out of you. Um, but they don't want you to think about it. So this person's the type of person, they're very strong willed. They, they like bombard you with information, um, affection, the love bombing bullshit. So you don't even have time to think. So the second you see the red flag waving, they're like, Oh my God, I have to fix this. But I love you. I love you. I love you. Like, and then they'll do something extremely sweet, which will make you question yourself. And it's like, Oh, is my intuition right? No, you know, he, he or she wouldn't be doing this or saying this if, if, you know, they didn't love me. Remember what happened before. And for those of you who this is somebody new, like you've never dated them, this isn't that psycho ex that is making a return, a cameo appearance. <laughs> um, just pay attention to just their actions, their body language, their social media. Are they talking to a lot of other people? Um, do they hide when they talk to other people? If their phone rings, if they get a text message, do they hide their phone from you? Like, there are little things that you can pick up on so that you, you know for sure if this message is for you. But I feel like in your gut, just your heart knows. And if you hear this, if you're drawn to watch this, it's more than likely for you. Um, unless you just go through and watch all my videos. And if you do, thank you so much for your love and support in doing so. Um, but use your discernment if that's what you're doing. Um, unless this, you, you know, hits home for you and it, it just like flips a switch and you're like, yep, that's so-and-so. It's usually the first person that pops in your mind. And I feel like this is somebody that you've kind of put them in the back of your mind and they're way in the background now in your life because you've been trying to move forward and it's someone you would least expect i'm just gonna say and they're gonna pop up out of motherfucking nowhere so yeah uh please like share comment subscribe the more you interact with me the more apt them to pick up on your energy um let's go on over to patreon where we're going to dive just a little bit deeper into each individual sign to kind of see where you where you guys are in this storyline or if this storyline is even for you because i might get different messages for each sign but i just kind of want to see what's going on we might be able to narrow down who the perpetrator is <laughs> at least their sign um but you know who it is for you anyways if this resonates much love many blessings and thank you so much for your love and support like i said a million times it means the world to me don't don't forget to get your merch go over to the community tab and click on the link I'm gonna try to put it in the box below but um, sometimes I forget so hopefully I will remember <laughs> but I love you a long time and I'll see you over on patreon bye